Hello everyone, Pally Tom here, and welcome back to Crab Champions. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing yet another weapon. Now, we've wielded almost every single one of these for a run, but a couple have eluded us. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cluster Launcher. When I first looked at this thing, I thought it was a flamethrower. And I played a lot of Pyro, I played a lot of Heavy 2 back in Team Fortress, but I know my way around a flamethrower. However, this is very far from a flamethrower. This is the goop shooter, and it takes a little bit of getting used to. Instead of, you know, picking an enemy and singling them out, a lot of times you're just kind of covering an entire area in goop and hoping for the best. It does have pretty decent starting DPS, especially if you get close to an enemy. We were tapping out at 450 there. Most of these start with just 200, but if you get kind of far away from the enemy, some of these goop piles are gonna miss and you are gonna have some fall off. If you get at extreme range, like past medium, your bullets may not even reach the target before they fade away into nothingness. So interesting weapon. We'll see what we get from the key. Supercharged, ooh, so our fire rate has already been increased. Well, well, that is a pretty good start. If you guys enjoy the Crab Champions content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. There's been a lot of new faces stopping in for this game and I'm still absolutely loving it. I love that there is so much of their framework ahead of us, their roadmap for content ahead of us. And I hope the game only keeps getting better. Round one cleared very, very quickly. Our chest is the Shark Claws Trick Shot or Imploding Grenade. We'll do hip firing and I'm gonna, oh, whoa, well, I'm going to sell, <laughs> I'm going to drop the trick shot and I'm going to salvage it. It's not much money, but the reason I'm doing that is because we can guarantee that we get a faster attack speed from a level two upgraded chest very easily. If we don't have another item in our inventory, then we're going to get the attack speed here 100%. Now, don't get me wrong, the hip fire damage is very good, but I, if I can guarantee an upgrade, then I'm gonna guarantee an upgrade. So our baseline fire rate is now increased by 50% out of the gate. That's pretty good. Let's do the parkour level as well, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can get the epic chest at the end. Have I said it already? I don't think I have. Today, the goal is to hit round 60. Because we're playing on normal difficulty again, I do want to show off the remainder of the weapons that we haven't seen in some upcoming videos. And then we'll start to push Nightmare again soon. Whoa! Okay! I normally say trust gravity, but gravity was leading me astray there. We probably still have... No, I'm not going to make it. We missed it by a second, I think. Oh, no. I did the last possible millisecond to get the epic item. Gemstone damage increased after each island. Or chance to get an additional reward chest after flawlessly clearing an island. Uh, gemstone is probably better, especially this early in the run. And considering we don't have... Oh, shit. And considering we don't have any damage yet. However, I'm going to take performance bonus and I'm going to head into economy. Can you imagine if I get a double economy chest right out of the gate? Bro, the run is in the bag. Now, performance bonus is a kind of win more perk. And I'll explain why. It's because basically, if you're getting reliable, flawless clears, then you're already doing something right. We only get stuff from the performance bonus when we don't take damage. So that's very important. Another thing that's very important is these guys can melee you as you take these jump pads. So now that I've landed on the ground, this is where I'm going to stay for the rest of the run. Now, we're not going to get a ton of money because we're not slaying a lot during our survival level. But the chance for a bonus item is very, very valuable. And I'm going to do everything I can to protect that chance. Now, we didn't get a payout today. I did take a risk. It was a one in four. 
that we would get it. That's okay. At least I think performance bonus starts pretty high. Yeah, 25% chance on every flawless that you get an additional chest. But when you think about what that means, what is my reward for clearing this island? It was a chest with loot in it. Getting an, oh, crystal combo. Getting another chest is essentially clearing another island on top of the one that you just cleared for free. That's what's, that's, that's why it's so good. Well, Crystal Combo sets me up very, very nicely. <laughs> if I stack this, wait, if I get Ice Shot stacked up, it's like I'm shooting ice cubes at these enemies. Aesthetically, I really like that. That's what we're going for. We're gonna be an ice cube dispenser. So Crystal Combo gives us 20% more crystals when we kill an enemy. Uh, that gets multiplied as our combo goes up. Wait a minute, we have another parkour. Now, uh, if we, um, even if we don't have a combo, if we're at times one, we're still getting more crystals for each kill. So the crystal money thing is always worth picking up in my opinion. We hit checkpoint. I'm still going slow. Trust gravity. It's not going to be weird. It's twice. It was weird again. Oh my God. I had the perfect fucking jump. Otherwise this run was dead. Skip this corner. Bro, two parkours, too. We're getting spoiled. We're getting spoiled for items. What's my epic gonna be? It's gonna be aura shot. Wait, this is it aura shot? It goes around each. <laughs> all right. All right, we're popping off. Okay, that's, that's all it comes down to. That's what we're doing. We're just popping off. Uh, I do need more damage. I just took a quick look at, look at what we've acquired. We are lacking in damage a little bit. Although you may have a hard time telling. And look at that free item. Beautiful. Well, a lot of enemies spawning behind me. One thing I can do now is just kind of start shooting down. And because we have the aura shot, our shots are going to stick in the ground for a bit longer. So it's almost like I'm making a barrier around me. Uh, because we have the aura shot as well, it's probably a good idea to try to fish for a glue shot. There's a really good combo you can do with these. And we have a chance of getting that glue shot from these damaging chests. This is going to be a good run. I can already tell. We're a little lacking in the healing department. I was worried about all that fire underneath me there. Is this an epic? No, it's a blue. Time shot. Shots deal more damage, but damage is dealt over time. I think that's fine. If we get glue shot too, that's kind of leaning into that a bit more too. Spiral blind or glue grenade. We'll do spiral. It shouldn't matter uh, because our shots persist on the ground. It's not like if you guys saw our crossbow video that we posted recently, uh, I think I double health. If the crossbow video, the spiral shot was actually hurting us way more than it was helping us. Because what was happening was it was taking the crossbow bolt, which is normally, you know, a straight line shoot it into your enemies. And it was making it spiral and sometimes it would hit the ground and that would just completely disappear. That characteristic doesn't exist here. So that's really good. That's a really good combo. We also have a Healy Rock over on the other side. I'm gonna start making my way over there. 37 seconds to survive. Here's the Healy Rock. I'm gonna to try to camp it. Perfect. I'm probably gonna end up selling that bonus crystal thing. I don't know. If we pop off later in the game, it would be really valuable. I'm just probably not gonna get anything out of it immediately. I don't know, we'll see. Holly likes to stack that one up a lot, and I do think it is better in multiplayer, the performance bonus, because the odds of you not taking damage is much higher when there's three other targets that all of the crabs could be going after if you're playing in a four-person uh, lobby. We did a lot of slaying there. That was a very aggressive round eight, and the health chest gives us fortitude. <laughs> GG, boys. Good run. It's all, I'm already calling it. I'm already calling it. Uh, triple shot would break our build, actually. Excuse me. This is important to pay attention to. So triple shot isn't 100%, and it might do the same amount of damage. 
but kind of what we're playing around right now is the volley of targets forward. If we took triple shot, it would take these five or six pellets and turn them into three pellets. So it would kind of negate a lot of what we're doing. Supercharged level three. I've never had this much attack speed on Island Nine before. We're going through. Wait, we only have five shots, six shots. Man, those are going by quick. Oh, good. Well, some money in the back for us. We might be able to buy one more epic. We also have a heal if we need it. Looks like I might be able to reroll. That heal just got used. Sonic Boom, Icebreaker. Enemies take damage when thawing from ice. Damage increased when high health. Sonic Boom or Second Wind. I guess I'll take Icebreaker. Because we can't consistently keep an ice debuff up, theoretically what that means is why am i not freezing theoretically that means he takes a burst of damage after that freeze ends we might also be able to mess around with uh stacking ice and also stacking a little fire but i feel like we're kind of a ways away from that hey good freeze on the boss as he spawns out of the ground that was better than what i was expecting i do think our damage is going to be on the lower side for single targets like this but we can find ways around that. I do need to lead my shots a little bit more and make sure I don't stand in too much fire behind me. But fire right now isn't that deadly. It does get a lot more ridiculous. Lose 33% of your health and gain recoil shots. Shots deal more damage, but recoils heavily increased. I don't think that matters to me. <laughs> I'll take it, sign me up. We get a bronze heart from the healing chest. Piercing shot, mace shot, or arc shot. Piercing shot isn't bad right now, but I would need to delete it if we get a glue shot in the future. It breaks the combination that I was talking about. Although with this weapon, it may not be that bad because your projectiles still persist for a decent amount of time. Well, welcome to the second biome. The ice level is here. I really like our build so far. I think it's very, very effective. Who's still alive? Hello? You get stuck? That's okay. <laughs> because we have fortitude, we're gaining 20 health every time we clear a level now. So generally speaking, we shouldn't need too many more of damage increase depending on your current combo that could be good we'll try that we shouldn't need too many more health areas i'm gonna go into this economy one more time if i could get another of the crystal combos or even a bonus crystals that would be pretty excellent the difficulty does kind of reset as you reach a new biome you get kind of some time to get acclimated and some of the enemy moves change too for instance the baseline crabs here all of a sudden start to freeze you and they auto attack you so you do need to play around that at least a little bit more uh is it a skull that's left there he is hey bud and a little crab where's our chest close by perfect Small crystal bundle, finishing move, or medium crystal bundle. I'll do medium. Oh, homing thorns. Ew, spike traps is way better. Okay. There is a chance. I read a comment. Some of you don't even believe it's real anymore, but there is a chance that we get homing shot from doing a skill thing like this. We could also increase our uh, magazine size or something just so we can fire more pellets at our enemies these guys do have an fx they are going to be dropping spikes but if i can just hold this cave entrance and none of those spikes make their way over to me because there's a minefield of goop with auras around them well i guess that'll keep me safe the cave isn't always the best place to be but that fx didn't make it that bad uh, clip size increase could be good. Spread and recoil heavily reduced with grip tape. I actually think I need the spread a little bit for what we're doing. So bringing it together might be bad. So we'll do big mag on both of these. That brings me up to 15 shots I can fire without reloading now. I think that seems pretty good. Double chest for healing is tantalizing. But I'll go with the luck. With luck, we could get scatter shots. 
We could get some things to help with reload. We could get drillers, which I don't think I have one of those yet. No, we don't. I like to just sit here and defend at the start of this mission. It does help that it's a survival, <laughs> but there is a lot of enemies that could be coming down one of these hallways. I have to move up to get the heal and then we can fall back. Seems like the density isn't too crazy. There we were, we were getting some good shots on the left. 12 more seconds to this survival. This is nothing. This is actually really good for my crystal combo though. If I could build that. Keep them back. By the way, I'm going to try to keep a pretty steady flow of Crab Champions videos coming on the channel. I'm aiming for at least three to four a week. That's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, auto loader, chance to instantly reload after each elimination. We probably have enough bullets that that would trigger pretty often. I'll try. Auto loader does get outclassed later on by some other mods, but for right now, it should be fine. Ooh, it seems like our money's getting pretty good too. So I'll take gemstone and I'll also take icebreaker. Icebreaker was the one where enemies take damage when they thaw. Our freeze chance isn't still isn't very high still, so they should be thawing relatively often. Uh, lose 33% of your maximum health to gain crystals. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's reroll this. Silver heart, aura shot, level two, and another silver heart. Reroll one more time. Performance bone. Whoa. Level two. Hold on. There's a 44% chance I get a chest if we end flawless. That's getting good. I'll take the economy here as well. We still have plenty of this run to go. If I can boost our economy, pun intended, that's gonna be valuable. Now pay attention to my ammunition at the bottom right. Ideally, we have enough shots and we're lucky enough that the auto loader will just kind of kick in enough. It doesn't need to be every kill and we can balance how effective auto loader is even without picking it up. Like we could just get more bullets and that would still make auto loader good because it reloads the entire thing, right? However, we do still have to reload here. So maybe another auto loader or more ammo is in the cards for us. Our damage is so incredibly good right now. I absolutely love it. Even with the delay on our impact, I feel like I can't even tell. Tony's black card finishing move or gold coating. We don't have any healing, do we? No, I literally don't think I have any healing for gold coating. That could be good. Tony's black card's good, especially in multiplayer, if you could stack it up. And I don't deal any crit damage. So, I mean, I guess Tony's black card. We'll also take the... We'll take the skill chest. I mean, statistically, we have to see homing eventually. And we can get another bigger mag. Oh, that, hey, that's looking pretty good. Look how long we shot here. That was beautiful, even with every enemy just spawning in front of me too. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm not gonna advance on that. I'm sitting back. Lightning Skull spawning in. We saw that help our way before we saw him. <laughs> that's kind of satisfying. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what you're aiming at. As long as you have it somewhat, like you point your screen that way, at least a little bit. Big Mac level three. And do we take the damage here or do we take the speed chest? Speed chest could give us another stack of our attack speed modifier, which I think could be really good. I'm gonna try. And theoretically, if our attack speed gets high enough. Oh, hold on. We're gonna try to min-max this level a little bit. There is a guaranteed elite in the middle and there's a technique I've been meaning to try in a video. So we just need to try to break this kind of red rock right here as the timer approaches zero. We get a guaranteed piece of loot for breaking that one, but that one also guarantees that you fight elites with it as well. So there's a very big positive, but also a negative to consider with that rock. I mean, I guess that's the case with all rocks, to be honest. But we should be able to manipulate this one so we break it right as the timer is approaching zero. 
still get our loot, and then the difficult enemies despawn because, of course, this is a survival level. They're gonna despawn. Couple more rocks to break. No lucky driller stuff. Here's my last reload. We'll break it now. There's our loot. I guess I'll just kill the elites! <laughs> and get level two Tony's black card. That's giving us a discount as we get to the shops, a 15% discount. Now our money's going even further. The accelerating shot could be hilarious. I think we have to take accelerating shot. <laughs> so that's gonna make it so our bullets are really slow at the start, but then pick up speed. <laughs> And they're going to spiral there, and they're going to bounce there before they pick up speed. Random shot could be good. Big hearts or glue grenade. I'm going to skip out on all those. We don't have a totem in the back. Damage combo. Maybe that's where my damage was coming from. Big mag level two. I'll get the damage combo as well. 3,000 gold still to spend. Arc shot, armor, or supercharged level four. It's looking like I'm like magma. <laughs> Every time I shoot, it just looks like magma going towards an enemy. Well, we hit full health. I could spend a bit more money and grab another health boost here. One thing I could do is just invest in these and salvage them later. It's two mods I don't want. Sentry turret and spark explosion. We can just delete those when they're worth more money later on down the road. And then I have it. You know, and then the sentry turret is still technically here and he's shooting and participating, doing whatever it is that sentry turrets do. Okay, that wasn't a timed one. All right, so the boss is in the middle. Our bullets found them and he died. Great match commentary as always, Walter, very well done. There are some tantalizing totems around the outside. Here we go, health totem. 50% chance I double, 50% chance I get half. We take that. <laughs> never punished, boys. Never fucking punished. Aura shot level three, making our goop even more deadly. Bronze heart to the right. This is a free item. Ooh. I don't take that. No, we're good. We don't have any healing. What's this one over here? Get a random pickup, but lose 33% of your health. That's fine, because it's guaranteed. We'll salvage that though. Oof, all right. On to the next level we go. Now this is the third biome. This level has to be a heal. I don't think there's any way to get around that. So we have a chance of getting some healing. Uh, we could also get some armor to protect our combo a bit more. That would be a good investment at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the orbs kind of hanging out in front of me are a little distracting. Maybe we get rid of that. The premise was fun. Yeah, I, I can't t I can't see anything when I start shooting. It just goes away. If we get our elemental proc chance up high enough, those will all be blue. Uh, shots do more damage, but heavily, uh, recoil is heavily increased. Shots do more damage, but fire rate is reduced. Shots do more damage, but spread is heavily increased. Do we care? I don't think so. I don't think we care. Elemental explosions for a double skill. I'll try that. There's, of course, a chance we get homing. Uh, elemental explosions is going to be pretty terrifying around every enemy, though. Let me just try to cover that area in goop. I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to thin out some of these mods. Uh, pumpkin holding out in the corner. This shouldn't be that hard of a challenge because this is only a, a two level. Like I said, the difficulty kind of resets as you reach each biome, so. As long as I keep these guys back, the density shouldn't be that high, but it ramps up again very quickly. Like as we get to three or four, it's gonna be through the roof again. We got three chests because of our performance bonus. That is huge. Grip tape, big mag. Uh, grip tape, big mag, big mag, grip tape, big mag. <laughs> well, I don't think bullets are going to be a problem anymore. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the frame rate. Uh, I can't even see my goop going forward anymore. That might be a problem. 
We may have broken the build a little too much. <laughs> oh, jeez. How am I supposed to hit flyers on the other side of the map? Oh my god, it just works! It just works! It's like a Bethesda game! Well, that's another flawless, and I got a... Did I get another chest? Is that my performance bonus, or was this a double? I don't remember. <laughs> Icebreaker, ice shot, level two. Give me another ice shot. There it is. That brings our freeze chance up to 15 per pellet, which is low. But we have another chest here, and it's on a survival level. 44 seconds to survive. And a big open area as well. No crazy modifiers, no frame rate to speak of. The one kind of nice thing about this is I think what's happening is as I'm running, my bullets kind of hover in the air behind me and then they move forward and hit the ground. So potentially the auras are actually catching these enemies behind me as I go. God, that's just disor- Yeah, we gotta change up the mods. After this, we're changing up mods. Next shot, we're changing. This won't do. We got to get rid of the accelerating shot or something. Uh, two seconds left. I think I was flawless. We did it. The damage combo and the crystal combo should be looking pretty good. No third chest this time. But are we getting more ice? Ice shot and... Ooh, we'll take ice breaker instead. Okay, I don't think damage is going to be a problem. Let's ring this back a little bit. Blind fire's got to go. That spread is too much. Uh, and I'm also going to get rid of the accelerating shot, too. We'll sell off that grenade and the sentry turret that I didn't want. And pick up level 2 fortitude. Level 3 Tony's black card. <gasps> Shockwave. Reloading damages all visible enemies. We have just become a literal god. The random chest gave me a golden heart. What? I should have sold that. Oh, I should have sold that. That was a mistake. I should have sold it. I didn't need that health. Should have sold it. Big hearts, triple grenade, dagger arc, or time shot. That's time shot level two. Just makes a little delay before our bullets deal damage. But again, we already have the aura with those shots, so I don't think that delay matters. Special delivery makes the shot bigger. And that's level two shockwave. Can we sell for it? Icebreaker, auto loader. Um, I could get rid of recoil shot. It's just a small damage increase at this point. Yeah, I'll do it. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. So yeah, I think it's on a 10 second cooldown shockwave. So every time I reload, it's just gonna hit everything. Granted, I don't reload all of the time. So maybe I can consider getting, maybe getting rid of the auto loader would have been the better idea. Let's do that. Uh, and I'm going to go for the economy here. If I can get another crystal combo, that's going to be really good. Okay, so not the perfect shop. Not a perfect shop. Damage is still very, very good. And now we actually have an incentive to reload and watch when we do. Look at all that damage was free. All of that damage was because I pressed R. On a survival level, when we have that timer on the right of the screen, we could just literally every 10 seconds make a mental note to reload. Uh, but we are definitely able to fire for 10 seconds, I would say. Maybe definitely isn't the right word, but it kind of seems like we could shoot for a long time. Well, here we go. Special delivery paycheck or Tony's black card. I'll take the special delivery again. I'm going to go for the spike chest since our health is so dang high, even though I still don't have any healing whatsoever to speak of. And this arena is just a straight line. <laughs> The shockwave hits stuff you can't even see. That has to be broken. That has to be something that's gonna get rebalanced in the future. Oh, one of these little critters snuck up behind me there. Okay, it does feel good to be able to kind of aim my bullets again to go at least somewhere where I want them to go. I'm still not really seeing enemies. <laughs> They just kind of get covered in colors. That grub got frozen and so did his friend. They got frozen before they could even do anything. Double spike chest. We have damage shot. 
poison aura, gemstone, spark shot, or dagger arc. I'm definitely taking damage shot, and I think I definitely should take gemstone here. And um, this is round 27. Shit. I sh we'll get enough money. I should take the health because we need to heal. <gasps> this is the best level for our build. This is the best level. I just have to shoot the entrance. These orbs should stop everything from approaching. We might hit level five combo here. It might actually happen. It sounds silly, but I'm gonna get quiet and focus up because I need to make sure. Oh! Need to make sure that nothing breaches this. Like these slugs could still deal damage to me. I'm level four combo right now. We're gonna be printing money like crazy. Skulls are spawning on the far end and they just get deleted immediately. They can't even get close to me. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Okay, back it up. Keep the damage rolling. That's looking great. 13 more seconds. Bro, we have to be close to combo five. We have to be close. Okay, the thing we have to do with all of this money is just spend it on health in the shop. Uh, buy heart and make up for the fact we got the flawless, but no triple chest. Uh, FMJ, damage to armored enemies, spiral shot level two. This is kind of trash. Zigzag, snake, and chaotic. Oh, it's kind of trash. Zigzag's fine. It just makes them move side to side, like left and right. That's no big deal. All our bullets are still going down range. Uh, we have a greed chest as well as a lose 10% of your health for a 25% chance to get a random pickup. Worth triple grenade, we salvage. Heal up. I think this is, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're gonna grab this health. Notice how big our shop is. Let's get big chest too. Shotgun blast is really good. Uh, split shot, chance for shots to split into smaller shots were in the air. We have some debate about this one. I don't think it's me being in the air. I think it's your shots being in the air. And if that's the case, split shot could get a lot of value. Oh no, it's definitely while I'm in the air. Well, maybe not definitely. I thought I saw more debris moving around. The, the jury's still out on that one, I'm not sure. We'll take Icebreaker, we'll reroll this. I don't think I need the shotgun blast. Fortitude, sniper turret, performance bonus again. Piercing shot again. Uh, do I have enough for both? I'll get the performance bonus. We're just short for piercing shot. Oh, I didn't break one. Give me enough. Is it enough? Oh, of course not. I'm like 50 short. Well, I think that's okay. We did pretty good for ourselves. We did pretty good for ourselves. And I'm planning on selling our piercing shot at a later date. We, we don't even really need the glue, do we? Let me sell the zigzag. I don't need it. We'll get piercing. Okay, do we have what it takes to take down the actual boss? This is officially the end of our run for loop one if we kill him. Good damage off the start, but there's a lot of fire that he spread and I stood in some of it. Oh my God, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. We keep moving. So just because that is the final boss doesn't mean our run has to end. The legendary chest gives us... Uh, clearance could be good. I feel like it would slow our run down. Care package, gain additional reward chest after clearing every fourth island. All right, now we're going to scale out of our mind. Let's loop it. I'm gonna to try to do the next loop pretty fast. I feel like I explained a lot of what was going on as we were coming out of the gate. Now it's time to show off. Now it's time to show these guys why I'm gonna to get to round 60 and there's nothing they can do. That flawless did give us a second chest. Damage combo level three could be insanely good right now. I do need armor though. 
Uh, we'll take damage combo, and then we get bubble shot as well. Bubble sh Ooh, there's the glue shot, but it would mess up our piercing, so I'm committed to this. Uh, bubble shot just spawns in additional auras on a cooldown, so it's more bubbles for the bubbles that we're shooting with our bubbles. The frame rate is starting to take a pretty big hit. That is for sure. I'm feeling very safe even in the middle of the map surrounded by enemies. Normally, I like to play the outsides and kind of try to loop around a little bit. We got the flawless lightning shot, ice shot. That's ice shot level five, followed by ice shot level six. That brings our total per pellet freeze chance up to 29%. Let's keep it rolling. Although I should have paid attention. No, we're good. So for the next level, that's where we're going to get the care package bonus. So I need to keep that in mind as we're moving forward. Do I want in uh, a third chest for health? That's probably not a very useful thing if we can find it. We need to try to min-max that a little bit. I usually don't think about it too much though. Don't get too intimidated by bonus chests. I mean, it's just additional scaling. It's just a good thing. Uh, Elemental gives us lightning, icebreaker, random fire. We'll take icebreaker. Enemies take damage when thawing from ice. Ice cold would give us more stacks. Damage increased to frozen enemies wouldn't be bad either. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll be heading into economy next. This will also give us the bonus chest which means we could get very ahead of the difficulty curve here. <laughs> I don't know if my frame rate can take too much more. <laughs> the aura shot is kind of a frame rate killer. That is, that is very, very accurate. Well, we have to stay alive for 25 more seconds. And there are a decent number of enemies spawning in around us too. I'm going to try to just keep moving back and forth on this section of the beach for the last 15 seconds here. <laughs> I wonder what our frame rate would be like without the aura shot. Because it can't be adding that much damage. Three seconds left. Shockwave hitting everything on screen. We just hit level five combo, boys. Level five. I believe that's our bonus chest there. So we didn't get the flawless one as well. Uh, Tony's black card, special delivery, finishing move, or small crystal bundle. A small bundle is worth seven grand right now? That seems crazy. Uh, I'm going to take the Tony's black card. It'll make our money go further at the shop, the place we spend it. And I'm also going to do the same thing here again. That's level five Tony's black card, giving us a 34% consistent shop price discount. There is a legendary, uh, that's a fortitude, we take that. We take silver armor, we take special delivery, we take endurance, we take crystal combo. We'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, there is a point that you can hit with Tony's black card. And again, it's easier to do in multiplayer, uh, but you can hit a point where everything is less than 50%. Does that make sense? So. So this is a 34% discount. You can get it to where everything is more than a 50%. So it then becomes profitable to buy every item and then sell it back. So that's kind of my fear with Tony's black card because every shop would look like this and then I sell stuff and then I pick stuff back up. It slows the game down a lot. But if you're into that min-maxing, it's also a lot of player power too. It's very, very good. Uh, we have a healing rock over here. I'll go ahead and stand in it. Uh, our armor is going to protect our combo. So we have a five combo right now. Our crystal combo is giving us, I wanna say 120% increased crystals. I don't know if that is exactly true uh, for each kill because of that combo. And we also have damage combo, which is giving us significantly more damage as well. So protecting this combo is becoming very important to our playstyle. So every time we stop in at a shop, we want to basically invest in as much armor as we can. There are some legendary bonuses that allow us to kind of min-max our armor gains a bit more. One, for instance, that gives us more armor every time we buy armor. Something like that could be really good. Uh, 
speed demon. All of these kind of suck. Accelerating shot led us down a bad path earlier. I'm going to take the light shot and I'm also going to go for the spiked chest next. Uh, we have one of those elite rocks in front of us. I'm going to break it right away. I'm not too worried about them. Although they are proving very resilient to our damage. There we go. They're frozen against the side. <laughs> frozen against the side. <laughs> okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. The reason why I'm way more concerned about our fire rate being high than my damage per bullet is because as our ice chance gets even better, it, these enemies won't even be able to move. So all of a sudden our damage doesn't matter. If they can't fight back, they they can't kill me. Like that's a real reality that we're about to achieve. Did you see those elite crabs? The moment they got there, they couldn't fight anymore. We got vampire, which I am immediately going to sell because I don't want it taking up an armor slot for me. And I am going to take shockwave level three. Every time we reload, enemies get damaged. This level will give me the bonus fourth chest. Let's keep that in mind. So, <laughs> the shockwave hit enemies even on the floor. So with the bonus chest, we will have to sacrifice a little more HP, which means I'm gonna need a lot of healing next shot. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm tr gonna try to get back up there. Get back up there, there we go. 30 seconds left. Put that damage down range. Let's go. Beautiful. I gotta scratch my nose. Hold on. It's the only thing I can't build around is my allergies. <laughs> 22 seconds left. We're holding it down. Hold. Hold. That's the beautiful thing about this gun is I can just shoot the floor here and because of the aura shot and because of the fact that our bullets stick around for just ridiculous amounts of time, I'm making the top platform more safe. And it doesn't even really matter how many enemies show up here. It doesn't even matter, bro. Two spike chests, let's sacrifice the H. <gasps> I can't do it for the other one. Poison aura, dagger arc, aura shot, or supercharged. I'm definitely gonna take the supercharged. They've been giving me a lot of heal rocks, but it doesn't look like we got one here. Oh, I think I'm just a few HP short from being able to get that. That's okay. That's okay. We'll buy up all those rocks, break up all those rocks. That's good health, damage shot, that's flat damage increase. Second wind, layer grenade, shockwave level four. And ice aura might be fun freeze and damage enemies nearby. I'm gonna grab that health there too. Silver heart yet again, bubble shot level two, damage shot level three, big chest level two, ice cube level two, supercharged level six. Wow, it's like they are just giving me items that I want. This is a nice problem to have. Reload arc does the same thing as shockwave, but on a lesser extent. Gain armor plates each time you pick up armor. That's what we want. That's perfect. Piercing wave, we don't need it. Let me go ahead and reroll one more time. Uh, explosive armor, fire claws, aura shocks, level four, icebreaker is just out of my purchase power. And we shall continue. This is the first boss again. Round 40, it's gonna be two grubs this time. We just broke through the armor of that one on the right. Let me kite away from it a little bit. It's taking a lot of damage over time and I believe it has fallen. Now on to the other one. That's a lot of projectiles, but we have a lot of armor keeping me safe for at least a little bit longer. And there we go, we're looking pretty solid. We do get a bonus chest. Nice, I'll take the double key, thank you very much. Firework explosion, damage shot, flammable armor. We're gonna take the damage shot. We're then going to take the supercharged level seven giving us a total of 175 increased attack speed. We have the fastest goop shooter in the West. That's for sure. Uh, we can just sit back here and defend no problem as well. So the armor is going to protect our combo. There is another legendary one where we get a piece of armor after every mission, although after every level, although the odds of us finding that are pretty low. Are those homing bullets or is that just normal ant stuff? 
Oh, God, you guys were all hanging out here. Jace. Our bonus chest is piercing wave, spiral shot, time shot, damage combo, or trick shot. You can see with our bigger chests, we're actually starting to get quite a few damage combo. Again, resources here at these chests. Because we have so many choices, it's becoming even easier to kind of target farm the upgrades that we want. Because of course, there's only so many damage mods, there's only so many health mods, and there's only so many of each that can spawn inside of a damage chest. Uh, Ant on the left taken down, the wave 42 cleared. I thought this would be one where we get bonus gear for some reason. Aura shot level five, I think we'll go for that. How much damage is that putting out now? Each aura deals 300, oh my God. Each, each aura deals 3,125 damage per second. Each aura around each bullet that we're firing into the cosmos does that. That is incredible. We're gonna take the economy chest here again. Our economy has been popping off. Let's make it even better. They put me in the middle of the arena. It doesn't even matter this time. Although I did take a little bit of damage. That's okay. We kept the combo. Our armor just took a little bit of a hit. The elite spawning in literally can't even move because the ice is freezing them to the ground. Money is power. 10% increased damage for all of our money. I think I'm going to do another crystal combo. And then I think I'm going to do another crystal combo. And we'll take the spike chest here. That crystal combo is just going to set my damage through the roof or my, my income through the roof because we're basically cemented at this five combo at this point with this armor. If I can keep it there, we're chilling. We make our way inside the cave. I'll try to hold the entrance to the best of my ability. So far, so good. Shockwave deals damage through the walls. This is, that's a lot of projectiles. That's a lot. Unfortunately, the density seems very bad. I'd be just rolling in cash if they were actually running in here to meet me at a decent speed. This looks like it's starting to pick up now, but we're in the last five seconds for the... Look at what it could have been! Ah, I should have just fought outside, to be honest. <laughs> Spike chest gives us overlapping loot now. Big chest level four, or level three, I'm in. Uh, streamer loot could be good too with the increased size of lose 10% of your health for a 25% chance to get a random pickup. Shop is next. Sure. Nice. I'll sell it. I'll take it to the shop. Thank you. Uh, there are some achievements to, we'll take level two split shot. We'll take level four damage shot. We will take icebreaker, gemstone, and leave those. There are some achievements to clear the game in a, um, like a speed run style, like get to round 70 in a certain amount of time. I think it'd be fun to try to stream that. Really what slows it down is, are these shops and this decision making and shit like that. That's what really slows down runs. So it'd be a very different feeling video. I feel like I do a pretty good job of min maxing my shop in a lot of cases. And I value economy chests really high because they allow me to min max the shop. But all of that would be gone. Dagger arc, make shot, shockwave, level five, bubble shots, le <gasps> just even more attack speed. Do we double my health? <laughs> Is it gonna hit? Do you think it's gonna hit? It didn't hit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, we just cut my health in half. What could go wrong? Well, nothing's gonna go wrong because we're on the cave level again. Oh, I can, I can get a cough drop out. Oh yeah, this is fine. Oh, there we go. Soothe the throat a little bit. Perfect. What more could you ask for, really? What more could you ask for? All right, what's going on on this level? Are the enemies gonna make their way in here? All right, we'll go out and see the 
Notice how I'm shooting at the ground just to spread this stuff like we were talking about earlier. But now suddenly it spreads it across the entire room in front of us because of all the chaoticness of the recoil, because of the zigzag, because of the spiral, they just start to go in every direction. It's really fun. Uh, so we're gonna take that spike. Streamer loot, bonus, bonus crystals. Bonus crystals. Tasty orange could also be incredible. Bonus crystals just gives us bonus on top of the bonuses we're already getting. We're gonna take the spike chest here too to hopefully get more good loot. This looks like a fuse. Oh, it was not. It was a legendary item for half of my health again. We are down to 690 HP. Now keep in mind, we are gonna be rebuilding that because of our fortitude. So it's not like it's gone forever, it'll, it'll come back. It did take us a very long time to get that going in the first place, though. All right, that's the last guy. That's the last guy. So we got Ice Storm. Shots create Ice Storms that deal damage over time. That does actually fit with our build, doesn't it? And because I sacrificed my HP, technically I have higher percentage. <gasps> and we can open both chests. Both chests, indeed. Another performance bonus could send me very close to towards 100%. We're at 68% chance of getting an additional piece of loot. And damage shot just sends me even further towards one-shotting everything again. I am gonna take the elemental one here. We're kind of running out of time to max out the ice shot and I would really like to see it in all of its glory. I think that would be very fun. I mean, I'd really like to see anything at this point because I can't. <laughs> That's the main reason. Uh, I do normally just kind of hang out up top on this level. However, because our area denial is so good, we'll just do crab laps. We'll break down everyone we can. Look at our money just skyrocketing up at the top left. Something to remember though, is because we lost so much max HP, our armor also went down because I believe it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So we went from having a couple thousand armor to having 700 armor, and that is worth mentioning. However, none of these enemies are even getting close. Uh, almost walked into a freeze there, doesn't even matter. I'm the one who freezes. And bro, we just printed 200 grand on this level, got the flawless and got the bonus chest. So is there another ice shot? Yes, there is. Is there another ice shot? This is a good example of, I'm almost always gonna be able to get an ice shot out of an elemental chest now, because there's only so many options that can be there. Well, we don't have to be picky. Bonus health, special delivery, valued customer, silver armor. Oh, we're full on armor. Fire spinning axes along with your shots for 20 grand. Bonus crystals, big claws, it can stay there. Then we get some kind of legendary grenade on the end. Streamer loot, time shot, piercing shot, scatter shot, and another bronze heart healing us back up to full. We have Supercharged, level eight, Icebreaker, level nine, Performance Bonus, level five. Uh, I don't think I want precision. We've only spent half of our money. Crystal Combo, Performance Bonus, Time Shots, uh, Poisonous Enemies, that does sound tantalizing, but I don't need it. Fortitude, Damage Aura, Fireworks Shot, Ice Cube, Aura Shot. Uh, that scatter shot wouldn't be bad either. Putting even more projectiles out there. We're at 74,000 now. Poisonous enemies is back. Get additional armor plates every time you pick up armor is back. So that's nice. E makes it even easier to fill up. Level six, Tony's black card gives us a, where is it? Gives us a 39% discount now. Performance bonus level seven means we're at an 87% chance to get that to get that bonus chance, the bonus chest if we flawless a level. And because we have so much armor, we're never gonna take damage to lose our flawless. We won, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We, we won the game. Yeah, those guys are fucked. 
Those guys are fucked. Silverheart. We don't even need the armor. Juice! Do I take it, though? Or do I take another level of big chests? You have to take the juice. You have to. You have to. Lightning aura, reinforced scatter shot. We'll take the scatter. Oh my god, so many chests. Uh, we'll take the big hearts. Well, Barbara, damage shot sounds good. And then the double key. All right, boys, if you're still watching the video, this is our final loop here. This has been a very long video already. We had a lot of choices to think about early on and notice how few of those choices we have to think about now. That's why the good foundation is so important. It set us up for this level of success. Big mag and knockback shot is gonna be salvaged. I don't want that piece of crap in my inventory damage combo level six as we try to fish for the homing shot with big chests and streamer loot we have a chance to get the homing shot it has a chance to exist unlike our frame rates i can't see anything anymore oh there's bad fire there i had no idea uh, there has to be an enemy just hiding somewhere. I guess I could just reload to damage them. <laughs> we did get a bonus chest. Is it going to give us anything good? Let's find out. Big chests. Okay. Yeah, okay. No legendary. Damn. Targeting shot, though. I would take bigger chests. I'm also going to parkour. <laughs> Uh, the fire level is the same as the biome one, except I had a crown sabotage my run at the start. Did you see that? Just got in our way right at the beginning. Uh, I think we have enough time to meet it still. This is the same as oh, biome one. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. It'd be nice if we had speed demon. I think I'm going to get a blue. Yeah, I am. Oh, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Give me that. We got it on the last millisecond. Holy shit. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Targeting shot. All right, I'm in. What's our chance? 40% chance of targeting shot. I'm going for the skill chest again. I believe in homing. I believe it exists. Oh my god. It'd be really nice if it did, because maybe my- Oh my god, maybe my bullets would go towards the enemy. <laughs> I- I think we've achieved- We've- ach we've achieved too- too much fire rate. I think that's what this is. <laughs> I think we could take off the aura shot. And probably save ourselves a little bit of a headache. But when you're five rounds away from imminent victory, I guess you might as well revel in what you've made, huh? Okay. Okay. What do you give me? That's a lot of chests. We have big chests. All right. Wait, targeting shot. We can get 100%. We're at 77. One more, and we're at 100% targeting shot. Big chest for the last one. Wait, why was this one so small? All right, big mag it is. This is not our final shop, but we're running out of them quickly. And there's another two. Collector. That's a 4% damage increase. Crystal combo. Steady shot driller. I'll get driller late in the game. Heal after each island. Sure, I do need some healing. Oh, I forgot I had that. Hard target is just damage reduction. That's fine to pick up. Reinforced is more armor plates. Icebreaker, gemstone, thorn shot. That's not targeting. I guess I'll keep it for the time being. Bonus crystals, streamer loot. There's no such thing as streamer loot unless we get homing shot. Fortitude, bonus crystals, endurance, ice cold, performance bonus. Is that 100% performance? 90% performance bonus. I still have plenty of money to spend. If this reroll totem keeps going, we're going to be very well off. Sharpened axe is really good. And making it level two just is a no brainer. Uh, our armor's fine. Fireworks shot we don't need. I'm going to reroll again. Grim Reaper, Ice Cube, Grip Tape. 
Big Shots, Grim Reaper, Tony's Black Card, Endurance, Heal After Each Island. How many rerolls am I gonna get? Reinforced Ice Cubed, Rig Totems, Explosive, Fortitude, Light Shot, Level 2, I think that's fine. Fire Rate and Bonus Crystals. <laughs> Oh my god. Reinforced bubble shot. Let's see what the epic is. Double vision. Chance to get an additional reward chest after clearing each island. What? Juice! Special delivery. Tony's black card. We have surpassed 50%. So now I could literally sell everything in here and make a profit selling it back to Tony. Isn't that ridiculous? That is the level at which we have broken the game this run. And if that doesn't deserve a like, nothing does. Hit that thumbs up button, boys. I appreciate you. We're at the end now. Let's get to it. Col oh, God, that fire. Oh, my God, the fire rate. Homing shot is real. Homing shot is real. Uh, elemental explosions. Wow, this is a good level for us. We can keep all of those enemies back. Maybe. <laughs> They're over there somewhere. Yeah, just keep just keep pointing in that direction. I think there's just one enemy left. It's that fire crab on the left. I'm on fire? Wait a minute. Oh, skull? <laughs> I actually think the problem is the bouncing. I think that's when everything just goes crazy. Oh, it's getting really bad. <laughs> okay, what if we drop bouncing shot? What if, what if we just get rid of that? Do we even have bouncing? Time spiral, big mag? Do we just have penetrating? We don't even have bouncing? All right, what if we get rid of aura shot? Oh, eh. nope, nope. I don't think I can fix our frame rate. That's just what it is. It might have something to do with the spiral shot and the zigzag because when our bullets impact something, there's a lot of uh, <gasps> all you can eat. Oh my God. All you can eat would actually break our build. We can't take that. We'll take big mag. Big chest. No. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That homing shot won't prove it's real. I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna rotate in a circle. <laughs> this is my protest. That even after all of those skill levels, I've taken so many skill levels. We. S <laughs> <laughs> this is getting really, really laggy. <laughs> I like how I was trying to say I'm not moving out of protest and not out of necessity, bro. <gasps> oh. Bro. Double vision. Chance to get an additional reward chest after clearing each island. Our double vision is at 36%. This is the final one. The final chance. Will we see a homing today? Will we see anything ever again? Maybe. Oh, I can shoot off this wall. That'll be helpful. Okay, we're gonna walk forward. We have 40 seconds left of this. 40 seconds left. <laughs> There's a jump pad over here. If I stop shooting for a little bit, I can see it again. <laughs> it's got to be all the randomness of our shots. That's difficult to calculate. That's got to be what it is. Oh, we are taking damage, though. I'm starting to lose armor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Five seconds. Our combo is still incredible. Well, that went well. Anything good over here? Targeting shot level three brings targeting shot up to a 100% chance.
for every single one of my bullets to seek out an enemy. I'm gonna get bigger chests. I'm also, I probably don't need to spend any money here, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. We have hard target, sharp shot, ice cube, finishing move, silver heart, arcane blast, sniper turret, poison, or I have a feeling this one's gonna break early. See, I just know these things. I just know these things. Repelling dash, sentry turret, silver heart is fine. I'll grab this armor. I'll get the shockwave level six and reinforce level four. Well, if you made it all the way through this video, you guys are troopers. I dedicate this final boss kill to you. Uh, if I don't die first, he might attack me. I don't know. Now, homing shot's gotta be in one of these. Look how many bonus chests I have. I earned it. I earned the homing shot. Proximity Barrage, that's really good. We've never done a run for that. Poisonous enemies, Triangle Shot, Sharpened Axe, Double Vision, Ice Storm, Clearance, Level Up. Wow, Level Up is good. I'd probably take another level of Double Vision, try to get a bonus chest. Okay, another chest. There's gotta be a homing, the homing grenade. Come on, you gotta exist. Show them you exist, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Double Vision again. Oh no. <laughs> Lightning storm, ice spike, care package, bomb shot. That sounds good. X shot sounds good. Sharpened axe. It doesn't exist. It's not real and I've been lying to you and you can't prove otherwise, can you? We're going to Crab Island. This run is done. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time.